Okay, so I got a question on text game and how to be more effective with it to get more dates, okay? So, I'm not gonna lie to you here. I am a horrible texter, okay? I don't really do text game. I'm just not a good texter, I'm not good, I don't recommend doing it. I think for the majority of people, it actually hurts you more than it helps you. Now, that being said, in this day and age, People are on their phones all the fucking time. You see someone walking in New York City, they're on their phone, like looking at their phone, dialing something, looking at Instagram, whatever, right? Um, me, I'm not, the, I'm not the type of person who texts back fast. I open up a message, think I respond, but I never fucking did. I don't respond to my friends. I don't respond to my mom. I don't respond to my brother. I don't really respond to anyone because I really, really suck at it. Now, that being said, I know a lot of people who are very good at texting. And you can actually use it to your benefit, okay? But those people don't really have shit going on throughout the day, okay? So you notice those people who are texting all day, texting girls all day, all day, trying to get laid, trying to get a date or whatever, that's their main focus. They're not focusing in on something greater than, um, uh, than their ultimate life goal, right? They're just focused on, gotta get laid, gotta get laid. Got to put my dick into this pussy and done, you know? So um, I'm not an advocate for that. I don't like texting girls all day. I think it's a fucking waste of time. That being said, um, there are ways to be effective. And really the one thing that you want to do is you want to go in with high energy and make the conversation fun. If the conversation is fun for her, just like if you were talking in person, if it is fun for her, she's not going to leave and she's not going to want to back the fuck away, okay? So that's the most important thing, making sure that it is fun and it is very conversational. So some of the things that I would recommend, just basic shit, is celebrity lookalikes, um, would you rather games, shit like that. That is fun for her because it gets her in deep, gets her thinking in her mind, and then she's, the more she talks to you, the more she's investing into you, the more she's gonna wanna meet up with you. Now, I do want to say this, okay? There are four stages of texting, and you need to be aware of what stage that you are in at all times, okay? So the first stage is silence. That is the stage where she's not really responding to you, okay? And that's because she has, like, little to no interest in you. And the reason is, is because she's probably not that interested in you, okay? And there are ways to break out of silence, and you want to be able to get to the next stage. And the next stage is conversational, where you're actually having some sort of conversational topics, getting to know her, learning a little bit about her, um, where she's from, what she does for work, what her interests are, shit like that, okay? So from number two, you can hop to number three. Now, number three is kind of like that high status flirting, where you're shooting the shit with her, teasing her a little bit. Um, she's giving you shit tests, which are good. And, um, and from there, if you're getting sit tests and you're flirting, you ultimately are going to probably pretty shortly get to go to number four, which is meeting up and escalating for a date. And that is the end goal of all texting. If you're just texting to be a, a texting buddy pen pal, it's not going to happen for you. Okay, she's gonna, just going to friend zone you and then eventually she's going to stop responding. So that is the ultimate goal to get to number four, where you get to the point where uh, you can escalate and take her out for a date or get her to meet your group of friends out or whatever, right? And um, that's the ultimate goal. But again, for most guys, they start off at number two, right? They meet a girl at a bar or they meet a girl on a dating app or some shit like that, and they're very conversational. And eventually that conversational aspect of it gets a little boring, so she turns to silence okay where she doesn't really respond or responds like once or twice a day but it's you know once every couple hours and it's just not fucking good for you so you at all times want to be aware of where you're at because you don't want to be texting her paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs and you get a like a one word response or you don't really get a response okay so that's just kind of like a brief overview. You want to know where you're at in the conversation and you will always want to try to level up, okay? So if you're going conversational, right? As I said, in the number two, you're conversational, finding out what she does, eventually you want to throw a little tease in there, okay? A little tease. Let her know that, you know, you're not, not entirely impressed by her uh, work performance or what she's doing with her pals or some shit like that, okay? So that you kind of want to level up and then challenge her a little bit shoot the shit, be fun, just 
have these games, but always be working towards the close. Okay, you always want to be working towards the close. Okay, um, the other thing is, right, never go for the close too early. Sometimes you meet a girl, goes well, but she doesn't really know you. Okay, and a lot of girls might be hesitant to meet up with a, a fucking stranger. And why should she? There's a there's a, there's a lot of fucking weird dudes out there. She doesn't, she's trying to weed out every fucking guy. So if you're immediately going into the, um, the close, that looks kind of weak on your part, okay? If you haven't really talked to her that much and you're automatically willing to drop whatever you're doing, drop your day to go meet up with a girl that you barely know, okay? So you also want to be doing some weeding out too. You want to figure out if this girl's right for you. Not, not go on a date with her just because she's fucking sexy, okay? So that's kind of like the gist of it just if i could really bring in one tip just be fucking fun just be fun have fun conversations but work towards the close that is it okay but again don't listen to me i'm not i'm not a texting guy i'm not good at it i always recommend just have in-person conversations facetime them hop on a call with them and then schedule a date that way. Don't spend your day texting. It doesn't look good. It's not really that attractive. Okay, you have better shit to do. Okay, let it known early on that you're not a great texter. You're better, you'd rather just meet her in person or you'd rather talk on the phone for 20 minutes or 15 minutes. Okay, and then from there, she's gonna get a lot, trust me, she, she will get to know your personality a lot more when you're verbally talking to her than a little texting because anyone can fake who they are through a text message when you're verbally talking on a phone or a facetime dude it takes some fucking balls you're not fucking scared you're not backing down and you're cutting rest right through the bullshit you're figuring out if that person's good for you okay so do that that's what i would recommend just hop on the phone don't even deal with the texting and then just tell them to meet up or when you're going out tell them to bring their friends bring them through Tell them a good time. You don't really text them that much. You, you th sporadically throughout the week, and then boom. That's what I would do. Okay, that's my recommendation. Don't waste your time. But again, I get, understand that in, nowadays that girls want to get to know a little bit about your personality first. So just be fun when you're doing it. That's it. Plain and simple. Peace.